right, guys, here it is. A video to take you through the tennis ball tension release exercise. Okay? So why do we do this? Again, a lot as emotions come up, if we don't express them, if we don't feel them, we tend to push them downwards. And all that downward energy ultimately gets stored in our lower half, in our legs, in our calves, in our feet. We also were on our feet constantly, right? And just like we foam roll you know, our quads, either before or after a big leg workout, um, it's important that we essentially are foam rolling the bottom of our feet, okay? So again, we have our tennis ball. And first I'll draw attention to the five parts of the bottom of the foot. And remember, the, the bottom of the feet in Chinese medicine also correlates to all of our major organs. So as we release tension in the bottom of our foot, we release tension in our heart, in our lungs, in our kidneys, our liver, even our brain. Okay, so lots of benefits. Uh, and then also the fascia, the connective tissue, it goes from the bottom of our feet all the way up our back, through our spine, even into our neck. So you could do tension release in your feet, and you might actually feel tension release in your shoulders, in your neck. A lot is possible when you really commit to this practice. So the five points on the bottom of the foot. Point number one is right in the center of the heel. Okay, right in the middle of the heel. Point number two is at the base of the heel. Okay, just at the edge of it. Point number three is directly in the center of the foot, maybe under your arch. Point number four is just at the between the arch and the ball of the foot. Okay, so right before the right before the ball. And then the fifth point is directly on the ball of the, the foot. And sometimes that might even extend into kind of where the big toe starts. Um, and if you don't have great toe flexion, so toe flexion is the ability for your, your toes to flex uh, back towards you. Um, if you don't have great toe flexion, even without the ball, even doing some exercises where you're getting into the toes can be another way to relieve a lot of tension uh, through the bottom of the feet. Okay, so we've got our five points. Um, I like to always work from the heel forward. And ultimately, we will be doing both feet. Sometimes I start with the ball under my right foot. Sometimes I start with the ball under my left. Again, it's all about balance. And kind of subconsciously, I may be starting with the foot that needs more attention. Um, or if I feel really good in my right, on my right side, maybe I'm using my right as my base and first, and then I'm always starting on my left. So again, just pay attention and see where you can shift and balance yourself, okay? So, I put the ball on the ground. Um, I'm pretty good at this, so I don't need to balance on anything, but maybe it's helpful to be next to a table that you can lean on, or a chair. But for now, I'm gonna use my left foot as my base, and my right foot, I'm gonna start under my heel. And my left foot is my base, it's keeping me upright, but really most of my weight is leaning on my right side. Even my hips now are pretty straight. Uh, I'm not like overly leaning on the right side, and under leaning on it would be that I'm barely putting any pressure. So I'm putting enough pressure that there's sensation. I like to bend my knee a little bit. When I bend my knee, that helps me to ground down deeper into my breath and let my, again, gravity and the weight of my body push down into the tennis ball. So from here, I'm gonna, I like to stay in each position for five to 10 breaths. And not fast breaths, not just to get it done. Right, that's five breaths, but that's not what we're here for. We're really here to feel into it. To send the breath all the way down through the body into the bottom of the foot to release some of that tension. It should feel like a relief. It should feel really good or sensational. Right? Maybe it's painful. 
but even in that pain, it means that we're moving something. Okay. So I also like to yeah, just get my shoulders down and back, find a nice posture. My head is upright, my whole chain nice and upright. And I've been on this heel spot for a while now, so I'm going to go ahead and move it to just the second point at the base of my heel. And when I put my hands out like this, it helps me to bring my shoulders down and back, open my chest, I engage, I even engage my core a little bit. Keep me nice and upright. And if you can, if your balance is there, closing the eyes, and again, just breathing into that second point on the bottom of the foot. If you want to take it to the next level, you can even envision all the tension dissolving, releasing. That tension is going down into the tennis ball, which is then going down into the ground. The ground loves to take your energy. So I'm doing this on a yoga mat because it gives me some extra stability. But you can do this on the grass, on concrete, wood floor, whatever your surface is, as long as you feel like you have some good balance. I don't have headphones in now because I'm engaging with the camera, um, but I love to listen to music while I do this. Because um, for me it takes about five minutes each foot. So if I do 10 breaths, and each breath in and out takes maybe five seconds, so that's like 50 seconds, 50 to 60 seconds per spot times five spots, and it takes me about five minutes. So I give myself that time. I give myself upwards of 15 minutes to do both feet and to have enough time for the integration uh, after each foot. So I apologize if this video goes a bit long, but it's because I'm going through and actually doing the practice. So now I'm on the, the middle part of my foot, right under my arch, and I can already feel that there's a lot more sensation uh, at this point versus the two closer to my heel. Sensation is a good thing. Um, even a little bit of discomfort is okay, so I can really, I can breathe into that, I can close my eyes and yeah, feel it, be with it, even put a little extra body weight there if it feels okay. Um, we don't want pain if it's like too sharp or if it's too much, it's okay to back off a little and then return to the breath, keep breathing into that space. to spot number four, right where the arch and the ball of my foot intersect. And on some of these points I have my knee bent so I can really get my weight into it. And also sometimes I do, I like to straighten and strengthen my right, my whole chain uh, and see how that impacts the sensation. And even this, this fourth spot on my foot feels, um, it feels pretty open, like I can go deep on it. So I'm, my whole leg is engaged and I'm putting my weight into it. So the ball is, is almost flat. And a few more breaths here. And I also want to draw attention to my, my base leg. Um, so it also has a little bit of a bend in it so that it's solid and grounded. And again, everything, you can experiment. See what it feels like to have your leg, your base leg totally straight and engaged, locked. See what that does for the experience. Or see if, if you bend it a little and you're in more of that ready position. Maybe that gives you a more stable foundation. Okay, I'm going to move to the fifth and final spot. Now this one is where things get interesting. Um, because it can be difficult to put weight down on under the ball of the foot. So I bend my knee a lot. And I really, I even get, I feel it through my glutes, 
Uh, my calves get really engaged when I'm in this fit spot. I love the feeling of getting more uh, flexion in my big toe. That's definitely been something that I've improved a lot over the years. More flexion in the big toe gives me a lot more movement in my foot, a lot more stability, and that really impacts my whole chain. Impacts my hips, my lower back, my pelvis orientation. I feel it a lot too through my quads. Feel really engaged. Okay, and I've been here for probably about a minute, about 10 breaths. And at the end, sometimes I do, I like to roll the ball under the length of my foot. And now I'm just kind of checking to see that there's a balance of tension release or if there's any other spots that need a little bit of extra love. It also feels good on the inside edge of my foot. You know, I don't have a specific point on the ball that goes into that, but it feels really good just to give a few rounds of back and forth. But ultimately, I'm gonna set the ball aside, and this is where I integrate. This is like Shavasana for my right foot that I just worked. Okay, so my hip, my feet are about hips width apart, And I'm just standing, just resetting. My right foot feels super grounded right now. It feels like my left foot needs a lot of a lot of love right now. But I do when I I can both I can bend my knees and really ground down. But when I also engage and lock my quads, I feel so sturdy so strong, especially through that right foot, all the way through my calves, my quads, even my hip flexor, feels like everything is a bit more aligned. Okay, so I'll stop the video for now, but I am gonna go ahead and do the second side on the left. Again, the five points are the heel, the base of the heel, the center of the foot, the where the center where the arch and the ball meet, and then directly under the ball. So this is a practice you can do every morning. You can do it in the afternoon if you feel like, ah, I've been sitting all day and I need to move some blood and some tension from the bottom of my feet. And over time, it can be a really powerful practice.